Hello, we are so excited to help you on your surgical journey with Dr. Smith. I'm Kim and today I'm going to be going through your surgery information letter that you would have received via email. You can see highlighted in yellow that we have the procedure name of the procedure you're having with Dr. Smith. Underneath this is the date of your procedure and the hospital that you're having this done at. Following your procedure date and the hospital, it will have day surgery. This means that you will go in for your procedure and come out on the same day. I get lots of questions about how long that might be. It's usually about a six hour turnaround, but this can differ. Your fasting and admission times. We ask you to please call our rooms directly the day prior to your procedure to obtain your fasting and admission times for the surgery. We will advise you on what time you need to be at the hospital and what time we need your fasting from. Please note to only call us the day before. We want to provide you with the most accurate timings and this allows us to do so. Whilst fasting, you can only have sips of water up until two hours prior to your procedure. I will also advise you this once you confirm your fasting and admission times. Please do not consume any food, drink, gum or cigarettes in your fasting window. Underneath this, you will see medical certificates. If you require any medical certificates, gym certificates or carer certificates, please email smithadmin at orthopaedics360.com.au following your procedure and we will arrange this for you within two to four business days. We have arranged a follow-up appointment for you to come back into our rooms two to three weeks following your procedure to have your bandages redressed and your wound reviewed. We have the date and time and location provided highlighted in yellow for you. Anaesthetist. We have the details of your anaesthetist listed and the phone number to contact their room directly to inquire about any out-of-pocket expense that they may or may not charge. Please call them directly to find out these fees. Please complete your hospital admission forms. In the email, in the body of the email that these letters were attached to, I have sent you a link to complete the hospital admission forms. The hospitals do require you to complete these online. However, if you have any difficulty, please contact the hospital directly. They are more than happy to assist you with this. Podiatrist. You will see a podiatrist in hospital postoperatively. They will provide you with any postoperative aids, boots or shoes that are required following your surgery. They will provide you with some exercises and some postoperative guidelines following your procedure with Dr. Smith. These fees associated are either charged to your health fund, depending on your level of cover, otherwise there may be some rental fees associated with this. Please be mindful of this. We do ask for you to please sign this document and date it and send it back to our rooms. If you do not have a scanner, you are more than welcome to take a picture and email it through, or you can always drop it into our rooms. We'd love to see you. Thank you so much.